Okay, so we have new Adobe Illustrator 2023 and I thought I'd take a look at it. Let's see if we can go into the learning section and learn how to do something that they have here. I'm actually pretty excited to get more involved with Illustrator. I am not familiar with it at all. Um, and I'd really like to do more of it and create some nice uh, images and, and I want it like I was mentioning in another video that I've uploaded I would like to create some animal images illustrative kind of similar to this um, so let's check this one out exploring shapes see this one's create and edit shapes uh, how to draw, combine, and trace shapes. Um, let me see. View content. Artwork is unique. Well, let's see. All right, so let's take a tour first. <clears throat> take a tour of the app start tutorial explore the selection tool I mean these are simple things but um, so you start by exploring the selection tool which is we have the black arrow and the white arrow right and then follow the menus fit all in windows do, do, do. You'll start by exploring the selection tool, which you'll use a lot to select, move, and resize artwork. Yep. From the menus above, choose View Fit All in Window. Right there. Alt Control O shortcut. The illustrations are, and then that way the whole thing will fit in the window as you can see back here. Okay, so the illustrations are on a separate artboard. Artboards are like pages. I have this is one artboard, that's another artboard. And they're like pages in other apps, and you can use them to organize your content. Select the selection tool from the toolbar and click the moon on the second artboard. Now which one do you want me to pick? The top one? Alright, we'll pick the top one. And then we'll click on the moon and it picks one moon right there and move it around. Yay! Alright. And tip! Click the question mark icon to the right of the step in this panel to see its location. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Select the selection tool from the toolbar. Click the moon. I mean, these are baby things. Now drag the moon across the poster design and drop it in the top right corner, which I did. Alright. Now, I know this seems like baby steps, but really, this is how you gain confidence in working with different software packages. I've done this probably a hundred times in different packages, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the steps anyways. That's fine. I like checking out how companies set up their training material as well. It gives me ideas on how I want to set up training material. So, <clears throat> to me, it's usually pr pretty wordy, <laughs> so I would take out a lot of words if I create training material. So, let's, let's go through this. In the toolbar, press and hold the rectangle tool to see other nested tools. And then you can click on this to say, oh, where's that? Right there. And then if you hold the right, uh, left button down you'll see the other the menu will bring up all the other tools we got 
flare, star, polygon, ellipse, rounded, and rectangle. And then select the ellipse tool. So we're going to select that. You see the L there. And then in the blue sky, drag to make a circle. As you drag, look for intersecting ma magenta guides that indicate a perfect circle. Usually you press shift in order to get a perfect shape. I think they have that here too. Don't worry if your sun shape has a different color. Oh, that's not a big deal. Then shown, you'll have a chance to change it later. Grab the circle from the dot in the middle and drag it on top of the cloud as shown. So, now, there we go. So, now I'm going to press shift. See, I'm pressing shift and it creates a perfect circle no matter what size it is. So that's what shift will do, the shift key. If you hold that key down while you're doing this. Okay, so grab the circle from the dot in the middle, drag it to the top of the clouds. Oh, you're going to that side? I forgot. Okay, we'll put it over here. There we go. Objects are stacked in the order they're created, but you can rearrange them. You'll see how to do that soon. Okay. Alright. So, basically, I'm going to leave this one short. Only seven minutes. And... I'm going to continue on to the next video to do, you know, work with further in Adobe Illustrator. It just gives me a chance to practice and I'm not going to go through them real fast uh, because in that way you can work right along with me if you choose and you have Adobe Illustrator on your system and you don't have to keep clicking the back button <laughs> but you can slow me down if you want all right we're gonna click stop and talk to you later have a great one bye